There's breaking news coming in TMC MP Sukhendu Shekhar Roy has written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi demanding declassification of publications of Netaji files. The Trinamool Congress claims that there are many classified Netaji files with the centre that they have not put out in the public. The TMC MP Sukhendu Shekhar questions why the Modi government is not releasing a book on the history of Indian National Army which has been prepared by Ministry of Defence. This is a big breaking story coming in. Uh, Palami Saha breaking the story is now joining us. Uh, Palami, if my memory serves me correct, this isn't the first time that Chikendu Shekhar has uh, demanded this clarification from the centre. He's done this in the past as well. Yes, he has in fact uh, written uh, to the centre previously as well. He's again written to Narendra Modi before, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, the nation. In fact, a memory, it's the memory of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose on his 125th birth anniversary on 23rd of January, uh, the end of this week. And what is very interesting is that he's seeking the declassification and publication of a draft volume of a history of... Uh, Indian National Army that was uh, uh, the army that in fact uh, the militia group that in fact uh, uh, Netaji in fact led in terms of his armed struggle against the British uh, prior to independence this was in fact uh, something which was compiled in the years 1949 to 1950 by a very famous historian uh, but clearly it was not published and what is very very interesting is that Mr. Shekhar Roy has shared the details of an MEA communication uh, which in fact went out to the MOD at that point of time because a lot happened in time to in trying to get this uh, draft volume declassified and what he alleges is that certain pages of between 182 to about 191 in that particular volume are referring to circumstances which in fact put a cloud of doubt over the plane crash uh, in Japan where we believe that Netaji in fact lost his life uh, apparently those pages are creating a, a situation in sorts which uh, suggests that maybe he could have escaped alive from that plane crash. In fact, we have accessed the MEA note to MOD, which was then uh, written at that point of time by then a se Joint Secretary in the MEA, Gautam Bambavle, who was uh, with the MEA. And he, in fact, writes, and I'll just quote one of the points that he makes in terms of uh, putting in his objections to why this draft volume shouldn't be published. He says, the volume, in fact, what is likely to be more controversial are the pages 186 to 191 pertaining to the death of Netaji Bose in a plane crash in Japan. Unfortunately, the current volume does not bring any finality to the subject and only adds to the view that Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose may have escaped alive from the plane, plane crash. On this issue, the current volume will not Already, help. I have one more question. What, what did the center the really do when of, in the past Chandra Bose, who's the great grand nephew of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, had uh, uh, asked for a similar uh, request and he had alleged that a lot of secret files on the Freedom Fighter has already been destroyed. Well, uh, you know, successive governments uh, have uh, had their own views and reasons as to why they have not declassified every possible piece of paper or information uh, that there is uh, available as far as Netaji's uh, life and times are concerned. And of course, the mystery surrounding his death as well, surrounding that plane crash that happened in Japan as well. So uh, successive governments have had their own explanations. This is what Shikendra Shekhar Roy is also pointing out, that this is not about one particular government. This is about successive governments trying to hush up certain details and the nation needs to know and if the West Bengal government can declassify whatever has been within their ambit and purview in the year 2015, why can't the centre do that? And hence he's put out this note which was written by MEA Joint Secretary at that point of time, Gautam Bambavle uh, to the MOD putting down his objections as to why this particular draft volume of a history of the Indian National Army, which was in fact uh, uh, produced and compiled in the years 1949 and 51, cannot be put out. He, in fact, goes on to say that this, in fact, uh, could be because, uh, you know, much of uh, uh, the speculation around how Netaji passed away, if at all he did uh, in Japan, uh, it, this uh, volume doesn't end that. In fact, it adds to that speculation and it says that, you know, there's a possibility that it might might come across uh, 
that indeed Netaji escaped alive from that plane crash and he's put that down in a note himself. He says that the MEA may have no All objection right. from the political angle to such a publication. Okay. So it's not politics per se, but it is about uh, yeah. adding fuel to controversy, which the MEA was a little reluctant about. And this is a very important development that is coming in. Paulami Saha breaking the story first on India Today. Thanks so much, Paulami, for joining us uh, with this news break. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.